en question. President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The hearing now resumes, and I would like to give the floor to the deputy co-prosecutor to continue with his questions. You may proceed now. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Witness, we were talking about your cousin, Kao Mia. Um, did anyone ever tell you why the Kao Mia was arrested, why he had been arrested? I was told, I tried to find out and then I learned that he was uh, killed. I want to read to you an excerpt about Kaumia uh, from a book um, that was written by a journalist, Tet Sambat. Uh, about Noon Chea. Uh, this is document E3-4202, E3-4202, at Khmer 00858339, English 00757531, a French 00849435. And this is what was stated about your cousin. Quote, Another party leader, Kao Mia, was under suspicion prior to his 1976 arrest because he had been living in Vietnam before the Khmer Rouge victory. Noon Chea said that when Khao Mia returned in 1975, he suspected him of being biased towards Vietnam, end of quote. Um, Madam Witness, uh, do you, did you know who Noon Chea was? And did you ever hear anything uh, from your relatives uh, about Noon Chea's responsibility for the arrest of your cousin, Kao Mia. I did not know about that. I did not know the person known by the name Nguyen Chia. Je ne connaissais pas la personne du nom de Nguyen Chia. I know only Tatuj and Kang Mia and Chak Krai. That's all that I know. C'est tout ce que je savais. Thank you. Let, let me now ask you just a few uh, questions about the arrest of your husband, Teen Pan. Um, how did you learn uh, about your husband's? You've indicated that your husband was arrested in late 1977. Uh, how did you learn your husband had been arrested and taken away? I knew about that from someone. Je appris I de was working near Tlok, Je près and de I Tlok. learned about the news Et appris that, la yeah, from there. Là. Do you know who arrested your husband and where he was taken? He was taken away to somewhere near Swahirian. The person named Aao. Uh, who, who was this person named Aao? Question, who was this person named Aao?
đăng bài nà nơi nà đã anh đăng đăng đã chạy đăng thảo việt nơi xóm sóc Did not know him where he's from, but he was a security guard, and his name was Ao. When your husband was arrested, um, were the other members of the Svai Ia uh, Commune Committee, were they also arrested at the same time? Yeah, all of them were arrested, including the commune chief and others. They were sent to be re-educated, but they disappeared from then. From then. Did you ever see your husband again after he was taken away? I have never met him again, but I only heard that someone told me that he would be sent back to Gia village, but I did not meet him. Thank you for telling us about your uh, husband and brothers. Uh, I want to turn to another subject now. Um, can you tell the court, uh, please, uh, what happened to the Vietnamese people uh, who lived in Svai Ia commune uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime? They had my husband's or Vietnamese wives. There was nothing happened to them. Madam, you talked about um, uh, people who had mixed families. Um, uh, a Khmer husband married to a Vietnamese wife or uh, a Vietnamese husband married to a Khmer wife. Um, what happened during the Khmer Rouge regime to the Vietnamese husbands or wives in mixed couples? Can you tell us? Those who had Vietnamese wives and children, their wives were taken away to be killed. I felt pity for them. At least they should have kept their children alive. How did you know, and let me, let me go back to something, when, if, if a mixed couple uh, with a Vietnamese wife, um, if the wife was Vietnamese and she was taken away, what happened to the children? Their children were also taken away to be killed. It was so brutal. How, how many of the Vietnamese people in your commune were taken away and killed, Madam Witness? Yeah, there were four families who were which were taken away. And how did you know about the Vietnamese families who were taken away uh, and killed? How did you know about that? Because they live 
near my house. It was just uh, one kilometer away. And uh, they were also the member of the commune uh, committee. When was it that these Vietnamese uh, people um, were taken away and killed? Um, was it uh, before the arrest of your husband or was it after your husband had been arrested and uh, new cadres had come in to replace him? They, those Vietnamese family were taken away first before the arrest of my husband and they were taken away at night time. They were killed, the whole family were killed including their children. Do you know who, who it was that ordered uh, the arrests and killing of those Vietnamese families. After my husband, there was someone else replaced him. And that person who came to replace my husband, he collected those Vietnamese family. I did not know them. Je ne les connaissais pas. And I did not see them. Et je ne les ai pas vus. I just want to cl clarify something. Was the arrest of these Vietnamese families, was it, was it after your husband had disappeared? Was it the person who took over from him? Or, or did this also happen while your husband was commune chief? After, my, after the arrest of my husband, and it was someone else who came to replace that they uh, took away the, those family, my husband had nothing to do with this. I want to read to you uh, an excerpt. Uh, let me, before I get to that, let me ask you another question. Uh, when, when this new cadre, when the new cadres arrived, who took over from your husband, um, did they have a meeting? Did they hold a meeting uh, where they made an announcement? about what to do with mixed Khmer uh, Vietnamese families. When there were meetings, I never attended those meetings because I was not allowed to attend those meetings. So since my husband's death, I never care about uh, attending those meetings. So I did not know anything of what was happening. Do, do you remember hearing about a meeting uh, held by the new cadres who took over uh, where they announced what was to be done with the Vietnamese people? I did not ever hear of it because I did not get close to those meetings. I did not want to attend those meetings. Let, let me read to you to see if I can refresh your memory, Madam Witness, um, uh, an excerpt from your OCIJ interview E3-7794. This is Khmer ERN 00249 918 through 19. 
uh, English 00251407, French 00285548. Uh, this is what you told the OCIJ investigators, quote, People who went to meetings with the newly transferred cadres told me that those cadres had announced that if the father was Vietnamese, only the father would be taken away and killed. But if the mother was Vietnamese, they would take the mother and all the children and kill them because the children suck the milk of the mother." Uh, end of quote. Um, does that uh, refresh your memory, uh, Madam Witness? Do you remember people in your commune telling you about that meeting? Yes, people talk about that. They said that those children who uh, fed by the breastfeeding from the mothers would not be kept alive. They must be killed. Only the father were kept alive. Do you remember uh, who it was that told you about that meeting? Um, did you hear about that from one person or did you hear about it from many people? From someone who worked with my family, and after the, his name was A Sewen. A Sewen was his name. He was also in Swaye village, so he told us. So I listened to what he said, but I was so scary at that time. And after he told you about this meeting, um, did you become aware of Vietnamese spouses or children uh, who had been taken away and killed? Et où enfants vietnamiens qui avaient été emmenés pour être exécutés? I knew only that those families were killed. Je sais seulement que ces familles ont été tuées. But the, the, the person named Savon, he participated in the killing and he was a secretary guard for the new commune committee. That's what I knew. And did Savan tell you about these killings? Question: Is it Savan who has reported these executions? He did not tell us. He only talked and then we heard from what he was talking. He's part of the new team. So he's the daring person who participated in the killing. I want to read to you another excerpt from your OCIJ interview. E3 slash 7794. This is Khmer 00249918. English 00251407. French 00285547. Um, this is what you told the OCIJ investigators. Quote. At about the same time that the ethnic Khmer, Khmer people were being selected for evacuation from Svai Yia subdistrict, the ethnic Vietnamese were being arrested and killed. For example, in Tul Vahir village, Svai Yi subdistrict, the ethnic Khmer husband Chaum had an ethnic Yun wife. 
So the wife and all the children were killed. Another example in Sikar village, Spy Ia subdistrict, the husband Chin had an ethnic Yuan wife. So the wife and all the children were taken away and killed. Another example in Kin Tassiv village, Spai Ye subdistrict, the husband and wife were both ethnic Yun, I forget their names. So the entire family was taken away and killed. I learned these matters because when the people worked, they met and talked with one another. Uh, end of quote. Um, Madam Witness, in this excerpt, you talk about three other villages where uh, Vietnamese uh, people uh, were taken away and killed. Atul Bahir, Sikar, and Kin Tassiv village. Um, who was it that told you about the killings in those villages? Did you hear about that from the same person, or did you hear about that from different people in each of those villages? Uh, people who was uh, close to me told me about that, that those families were taken away, they were taken away at night time. Do you remember the names of the people who told you about um, the Vietnamese people who were taken away and killed in those three villages. Do you remember the names of the people who told you that? I forget their names, but they live close to my house. I even cannot uh, recall their names now. Je ne peux pas me souvenir de leur nom uh, Madam a witness, did, uh, how did the Khmer Rouge identify uh, the people in your and other villages uh, who were Vietnamese? Uh, how did they know who was Vietnamese and who was Khmer? The Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamese, they. The Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamians, responded to me. I did not know who was red, who was white. Je ne savais pas qui était rouge, qui était blanc. Madam, may witness, let me repeat. Um, I'm asking you if, if you know uh, how the Khmer Rouge cadres uh, in your area, uh, how did they identify which people were Vietnamese? Do, do you know that? I did not understand this. I forget all of this. I could not understand much. Je ne pouvais pas comprendre beaucoup. Uh, after these arrests and killings uh, that you've discussed, were there any more Vietnamese people left in your commune? Restait-il des Vietnamiens dans votre commune? There were some left. They returned back. Ils sont revenus. When you say they returned back, are you talking about people who fled to Vietnam and then returned after the Khmer Rouge regime? There, there are some yeah, one family lived here and Réponse one family lived there. Et ici, une autre famille habitait là-bas, il y en avait quelques-uns. 
let, let me ask you again. What I'm asking is the Vietnamese people who survived, were these people who had fled to Vietnam but then returned after the Khmer Rouge? Yes, they went back they, to their home country and then later on they returned to do business in Cambodia. Let me turn to another subject. Um, Madam Witness, um, during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, what happened to the people in your commune or district uh, who were identified as former officials or soldiers of the Law Nol regime? Uh, what happened to those people? Talking about that, I don't know much. I don't know what happened to the official from the Lonol regime. I'd like to read to you an excerpt from uh, the statement of another witness uh, from your district, a uh, witness who lived in Tlorp commune. Uh, in her OCIJ statement, and this is document E3-7719, E3-7719, Khmer ERN 00344565 through 566, uh, English 00347416, French 00411563. Um, this witness named Nam Sarun testified, and I quote, uh, after 1976, the Khmer Rouge gathered up the teachers, students, and former La Nol soldiers. Then all the families of those soldiers had their biographies made by the Khmer Rouge soldiers so they could be sent to study. However, after the biographies were prepared, they were taken to Longun, Pagoda, and killed." End of quote. Did you know a pagoda uh, in Tlorp commune called Longun, Longun Pagoda? Please repeat the name of the pagoda. Le témoin, veuillez répéter le nom de la pagoda. Uh, Monsieur le Président, in fact, uh, the name of the pagoda is Lengun. S'appelle Lengun Pagoda. That is the proper name. Voilà le nom. Thank you to my uh, national colleague. Uh, do, you, do you know this pagoda, Madam Witness? Connaissez-vous cette pagoda, Madam Witness? Lone Square. Réponse. Yes, I do oui, know oui, oui, the pagoda. Je connais la pagoda de Lone. It is located near Don So. Elle est près de Don So. And previously, I did not hear the uh, name properly, so I couldn't get uh, the uh, location of that pagoda. Pas que de cette pagoda. Uh, what was that pagoda Question. used for uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime? Pagoda pendant la période Khmer Rouge. Le président. President, uh, witness, please hold on. Je témoin, veuillez attendre. Defense counsel for Kusampong, you have the floor. Vous avez la parole. 
Oui, Monsieur le Président, j'interviens à ce stade pour objecter, puisque la pagode de Langon ne finit donc pas parmi les centres de sécurité ou les centres d'arrestation qui figurent dans la décision de disjonction. Il ne semble même pas qu'elle figure dans l'ordonnance de procédure. Donc j'objecte à ce que Monsieur le Co-Procureur poursuive. Mr. President, as I just read, there is evidence from a witness that uh, Law Knoll uh, soldiers were gathered uh, and uh, killed at this place, uh, similar to the pattern of events we saw in other parts of the country. Um, we've had this, uh, this issue has been raised many times. Uh, the evidence of uh, what happened to Law Knoll officials in other regions is part of the proof of the existence of the policy. And uh, that is the sole reason for our questions here, is to determine if the witness uh, has knowledge um, that um, uh, corroborates what this witness has said, which is that Law Knoll uh, soldiers and officials were gathered and killed at this point. If I, if I may respond, uh, Mr. President, um, I'm sure the prosecution is aware of ample evidence in uh, Keenan's book about uh, the treatment of Law Knoll officials in the East Zone. Enfin, du traitement des responsables um, de Law Knoll dans la zone est. Il semble um, dire que dans son ouvrage, que des soldats de Law Knoll ont été envoyés pour être éduqués et en 1975, tous ces quelques mois, tous étaient été remis en liberté. Um, Donc, quelque chose qui s'est passé dans la East Zone est, au moins dans le sens de ce que Keenan dit, incorrect. Plutôt, cela semblerait être incorrect, du moins d'après Kiernan, dans ce qui a trait, en ce qui a trait à la zone est. Oui, si vous me yes, if you please, uh, le président, allow me to ah, le, le vrai problème que l'on a à introduire des éléments pour lesquels qui n'étaient pas hein, dans l'ordonnance de clôture et qui n'ont pas fait l'objet d'investigations um, particulières dans le cadre de l'instruction et qu'on a des éléments comme ça pour lesquels la défense n'a pas eu de notification et le principe d'avoir une ordonnance de clôture avec des charges précises concernant les accusés, c'est que l'on sait qu'on peut se préparer. En l'occurrence, si à chaque fois, sous le motif qu'on euh, parle de la politique nationale, on introduit des éléments nouveaux, nous avons une violation parfaite du droit de l'accusé. President, le président. I'd like to give the floor to Judge Laverne. Je vais laisser la parole au juge Laverne. To make our ruling on the objection by the two defense teams to the last question put to the witness by the deputy co-prosecutor on the scope of facts to be tried at this stage. Judge Laverne, you have the floor. Vous avez la parole, Monsieur le juge. Oui. Merci, M. Yes, le Président. You, Donc, la Chambre uh, décide de rejeter l'objection qui a été soulevée par la défense de Kusampan. Il s'agit de la même difficulté que celle que nous avons déjà abordée dans le passé. 
that we have often faced in the past, that is to say that the question concerns the existence of a policy aimed at targeting the former officials and servicemen of the London regime. And in that regard, the question is relevant and authorized. However, the Chamber does not wish the questions to go too far in detail with regard to this question. Uh, question. Let, let me uh, f uh, ask a specific focus question then, and I think we'll uh, address that issue. Um, this pagoda, um, Madam Witness, the Long Nun pagoda, um, do you remember uh, what it was used for? And specifically, do you remember whether uh, Law Nol soldiers and officials were taken to that pagoda in 1975 or 76. No, I did not know anything about that. Je ne savais rien à ce sujet. They did what they did, and I uh, did not do, have anything to do uh, with that. Ils ont fait ce qu'ils ont fait. Je if rien à voir I avec even uh, knew it at the time, I si cannot recall it now. Je su, je ne pas the last um, subject I want to ask you about, uh, Madam Witness, um, did you know uh, during the Khmer Rouge suivant. regime, did you know who Q Sampan was? Qui était Q Sampan? And do you remember ever? Rem remember him coming uh, to your area, uh, to your district. Dans votre district. I only knew who Nam and who Yun who was there to engage in the, the dry season farming, but not the about the Kyo Sampan. What, what year was it that Hu Nam and Hu Yun came to your area? Sont -ils venus dans votre région? It was in 1976 when they went there to engage in the dry season of farming. Uh, I want to read another excerpt to you from the same uh, witness statement um, uh, that I just read. Uh, this is the E3-77-19. Uh, e Khmer ERN 00. Three four four five six seven uh, English zero zero three four seven four one eight uh, French zero zero four one one five six five and in this quote um, uh, this witness is talking about the person you identified uh, as the chief of your district, Hugh Samit. Samit. A quote, I have heard that Q Samit was a relative of Q Sampan. Q Sampan came to visit the people's work on the dam dike at Tlork village, end of quote. Um, my first question, do you know uh, whether or not uh, Q Summit, uh, the chief of your district, was a relative of Q Sampan? No. I did not know whether they are related. I uh, only knew he came from Takei to my area that is uh, to Swajir, but I do not know at all whether he is related to Kiel Sampol. And you told us that you worked at a number of dams. Um, did you ever work on the Tlork dam? And do you remember any leaders from Phnom Penh coming to visit that work site? Oh, 
Seul Hunum et Hunum, je connaissais ces deux personnes qui sont venues. Je ne sais pas si d'autres dirigeants sont venus. And my last question, uh, in your DC CAM interview, uh, this is E3 slash 7526 at Khmer 00185385, a French 00746963. Um, you made a statement about Kisampan. Uh, I'd like to have, ask my national colleague to read it in the exact words you used in Khmer, and then I'll ask you to explain you know, what you meant by the statement. Allow me to quote Kyus and Pon were so skillful uh, with the uh, Khmer rules. However, later on, everybody they actually killed everybody, and uh, I recall that free uh, translation. Et je m'en souviens. Do you remember uh, saying this to the, uh, to the DC CAM interviewers, uh, saying this about Q Sampan? And uh, can you explain, can you elaborate on what you meant uh, by what you said about Q Sampan? I only knew uh, here and there je that Kyusampon, Hunam, and Kyusampon were part Hunam of the Khmer Rouge party. And Rouge. later on, Kyusampon joined the Kyo enemy side, and then they le were so afraid of côté him. De ils très peur de lui. And later on, they were taken away and killed. And then all those who were connected to them were also taken away and killed. Aussi été emmenés, ont été tués. Uh, Madam Witness, thank you for Je your time. Uh, my national colleague has a few Merci, questions. Merci, Madame le témoin, uh, pour uh, avoir répondu à mes questions. I'll turn the floor over to him. Mon frère, Jean-Baudjian, a quelques questions à vous poser aussi, et je vais lui laisser la parole. National le Deputy Co-Prosecutor, co good morning, Mr. Bonjour. President, Your Honor. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, and Messieurs les Juges. Everyone in and the courtroom, and good morning, Madam Witness. Bonjour, Madame le Témoin. I only have uh, a few short questions. Quelques questions à vous poser. Uh, please uh, respond precisely to veuillez the point that if you don't précise. understand, please uh, let me know. Et si vous ne comprenez pas la question, veuillez me le dire. Je vais vous poser des questions au sujet de l'exécution de Vietnamiens qui vivaient dans votre village. In your interview, dans votre procès verbal, you said the Vietnamese wife and the children were killed. However, the ex-wife was spared. My husband was spared. Les maris Cambodgien, My question to you is that épargné. Donc savoir what happened to the Khmer husbands? Were they forced Khmer. to remarry during the period of the Democratic regime? Pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Answer. Réponse. Some of them. Uh, fell in love, they had children, and somehow later on they were taken away Il y avait and des enfants. killed. It et was a pity tard, ils ont that été et those et were taken away and killed. Que ces gens étaient emmenés pour être tués. Question. question. Uh, Madame Witness, my Madame le question to you Madame le témoin, is donc, about ma question the husbands of those Vietnamese wives who were taken away and killed. Were those Khmer husbands ces forced to Marie remarry? Khmer ont-ils été forcés de se remarier? And so, no, Réponse. they didn't non. remarry. Ils However, they are all dead now. Mais ils sont tous morts maintenant. Question. question. What about the uh, Vietnamese women that you said that they were taken away and killed? Did you ever see them again at any stage later on? 
Je ne les ai jamais revus. They were gone forever. Ils ont disparu. I ah, don't have any further question. Thank you, Mr. President. Cambodian. Je n'ai plus de questions, Monsieur le Président. Le Président, qu'en est-il de quoi vos cas principaux pour les partis civils Souhaitez-vous poser des questions à ce témoin Pas de questions, Monsieur le Président. We have no questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Le Président. President, uh, we have about uh, 12 more minutes before our uh, break. Avant de prendre la pause des jeux. And I'd like now to hand the floor to the defense teams. First to defense the defense team for Noon Chi. You can premier. proceed, Council. Maître, vous avez la parole. Um, Maître Coco. Mr. President, is it the President? Um, all right with the Chamber if we would start si after the, chambre, the break? Um, there's a few après. things that... La um, I would like to confront the, the witness with, and, um, because of the last moment of this witness, if they aren't prepared yet. Um, I can start by asking some general questions, but if it wouldn't be a problem for the chamber, I would, I would like to start after uh, the lunch If not, I, I, can, I, can, I can use Sinon, the 10 minutes, but je, je um, if it's, if it's des questions pendant les in equal. Mais si cela vous est égal. Yes, you may Le président, vous avez la parole. Uh, I will use my, use my time Maître then. Um, Je vais donc utiliser le temps qui m'est donné. Uh, good morning, Bonjour, uh, Madame Witness. Madame le témoin. Um, this morning, you were asked. Um, some questions about a person called Q Mas, de de um, Q -Mas. Um, that he was your cousin, um, and that he was from your village, and that you knew him quite well. Que vous le bien. Um, would it be possible for you to be a little more detailed? Oui, what, what do you recall détails? of him? Que vous um, vous um, for instance, do you know vous uh, when it was that he joined the revolution? Souvenez-vous où et quand il a rejoint les rangs de la Révolution No, Réponse. Non, je ne le savais pas. Il est parti. Uh, je me souviens simplement de Toitch, son frère cadet, qui lui était un enseignant. Because he was uh, rarely stayed in, uh, he rarely stayed in a village, Il and he went away with my other brother. Village. Il était parti avec mon frère aîné. And my other brother actually failed the uh, teacher's test, and Et later on he went to attend the study with the uh, uh, coach. Do you remember where Question. Hugh Mas, your cousin, vous went vous to? Vous um, votre cousin, Kiyomir, est allé. Where did he go to? Do you know oui, why it was that you didn't see him anymore? Savez-vous pourquoi vous ne le voyez plus? He rarely came to the village. Il venait rarement au village. And he was somewhere in Phnom Penh. Il était quelque part à Phnom Penh. My elder brother was there too, but I cannot recall. Where they were, uh, Je ne me souviens pas où ils étaient. Do you know where he was before 1975? Was he in Cambodia or, or Cambodge, was he in another country? Ou était-il dans un autre pays? He was uh, in Cambodia Il and not in another Il country. Pas dans un autre pays. Later on. He was being searched for, and he tried to uh, flee here and there, but uh, ultimately he was arrested and killed. Um, uh, Madam Witness, I'm asking you now about the time before 1975. Um, um, Madam Witness, I was asking you 
um, about his whereabouts before 1975. Um, do you know whether he was often in Vietnam before 1975? Réponse. I did not know that he je uh, ne savais pas, je had any contact with si Vietnam, that is to my uh, uh, knowledge. And I heard that he was uh, leaving, earning his living in Phnom Penh, Phnom although I cannot recall the, his whereabouts in Phnom Penh. And as I said later on, he was fleeing and, dit, and hiding tard, here and there, uh, but he was arrested and killed. Enfui, il se mais il I did not know of his exact position or function. What you're saying is that you never heard Vous dites uh, that donc before 1975, que vous n'avez jamais entendu dire que si avant 1975, il habitait au Vietnam for longer periods of pendant time. certaines périodes. I Réponse. Never heard that. Je n'ai jamais entendu dire cela. I never heard that he Je n'ai jamais in entendu Vietnam. dire qu'il avait habité au Vietnam. I only heard that he was living near a market which name I cannot recall. Marché, in je ne me souviens pas du nom, à Phnom Penh. And of course as I said uh, my bra elder brother was there dit, and he uh, uh, attending the class et il étudiait. And I am trying to recall the name of uh, the market that he was living next to, but I uh, uh, cannot recall it at all. Je ne pas oh, du Previously, I, I, I knew the name il, of uh, that market. Temps, je me du nom de ce um, do you know whether your cousin was already involved si in uh, joining the revolution, um, déjà à la revolution in 1951? En 1951? What I knew that Réponse. he and my elder brother joined the revolution, lui et mon but I did not know when they did. Quand ils fait. Because as a woman, usually I only stayed at en home and femme, I did not know about the, the affairs that they were involved in. Chose de leurs affaires. How do you know that he joined the revolution at the same, at the same time as your brother, uh, as, your, as your husband, sorry? Uh, how did you know that? How did you hear that? My other brother told me about it. And when did your elder brother join the revolution? Was that um, in the early... 1950s. Au début des années 50? Maybe it was in 1975. Peut -être. Peut -être que en 1975. Let, me, let me try to ask a question Question. one more time. Is it possible that your older brother and grand your cousin Kiyomaz joined cousin the revolution um, or joined um, sont the predecessor of the, uh, one of the two communist parties already in 1951? Yes, I said I uh, did not know the details regarding uh, dit, that event, pas les and I cannot de cet recall it at all. Je ne pas du tout. Um, Question. Have you ever heard of the existence in Cambodia de of Cambodge? not one communist party or revolutionary de party, uh, but in fact two, de, that there were two communist parties? Parti communiste, Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard that? I only uh, knew about a revolution. Je that is all I know. Je ne connaissais que l'existence d'une révolution. C'est tout ce que je savais. 
I understand, but have, have you ever heard your cousin or your older brother speak about not one party, but rather two parties parti, um, who were involved, which were involved in the revolution? I heard something about it, but I forget it. Mais j'ai oublié. J'ai oublié. I do not recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. In the past, I remember it well, but uh, not now. Avant, je m'en souvenais mieux, mais plus maintenant. I understand it's a long time ago. I'm not sure. Je comprends que ces événements remontent il y a assez longtemps. Would you be so kind and try? What is it that you remember about this other party that maybe your brother and your cousin remember of? Dont votre grand frère et votre cousin auraient pu être membres. Please uh, repeat your question. Veuillez répéter la question. I only heard from my older brother that he joined the party. Il était and later on, many more people also joined par la suite, the party. Beaucoup de gens and that they later parti. went through the uh, Maki forest. Ils sont, ils ont pris le Maki. Later, uh, some returned. Et plus tard, certains and as I said, later on, people were killed. Comme je dit, par la suite, des gens ont été, des gens ont été tués. But did you hear, that was my question, your Mais older brother or your husband, or your husband, si or your husband, or your husband, Chuk um, or Chanchakre or Kiyomir, about ces personnes ont-elles jamais um, évoqué l'existence de deux parties communistes, deux parties marxistes-léninistes plutôt qu'un seul. No, I did not non. hear about that. Je n'ai pas entendu said, parler de cela. A woman, Comme je vous l'ai dit, young, moi j'étais jeune femme not, uh, tell me et ils ne uh, disaient rien au sujet de leurs affaires. Um, let me go to your older brother. J'aimerais maintenant um, parler de votre frère. Um, can you describe how his military rank was compared to Chan Chakrai and uh, to Chuk? comparaison entre son rang militaire et celui de Chan Chakrai et celui de Chuk? He held Réponse. a uh, pretty senior uh, rank. Il occupait un grade assez élevé. Was at the sector level. Car il était au niveau du secteur. And he also had a pistol il with him. Il avait aussi un pistolet. But but do you Question. know whether Chan Chakrai was uh, Chan uh, or Chakrai had a higher rank than your older brother, or was your frère? older brother higher in rank than Chan Chakrai? Grade plus élevé que celui de Chan Chakrai. Chakrai had a senior, a more senior position than my older brother. Celui de mon grand frère. And do you know uh, how much senior Chan Chakrai was to your older brother? Si was there one rank below or was it two ranks below? Do you remember? De, de plus. It was probably uh, one rank below. That's all I knew. C'est tout ce que je sais. And it's because of her, his senior position, my brother referred Et to him as a Bong or brother. C'est par ce qu'il occupait un grade plus élevé que mon grand frère. President, thank you, Bong ou grand frère. It is now time for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at one thirty this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the uh, witness at uh, the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite her back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. 
Security personnel, you are invited to take you some part to the waiting room downstairs and have chanson. him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Suspension.